So Deep Seek has been going crazy on the internet recently, you've probably heard so much about it, so I'm not going to make this intro longer than it needs to be. In this video, you're going to learn how to build your very first AI agent using DeepSeek, it can automate tasks, it can look at your Google Calendar, it can look at your email, it can do whatever you want, and we're going to be building this in literally the next five minutes. So you should definitely stick around for this. Um, but just to give you a very quick overview of why DeepSeek is so powerful, it has wiped $1 trillion off the tech giants like NVIDIA. Trump has said that it's a wake-up call for artificial intelligence um, in the US, which is really funny, but why is it getting so much hype? And it literally comes down to these three reasons, and once you understand these three reasons, we're then going to be building the AI agent. So number one, it is completely free to use, which is actually how OpenAI started. They started completely open source and free to use like DeepSeek. But as they realized how much potential and power it has, they obviously knew that they can make a lot of money and that's why they now charge for it. However, DeepSeek do not charge and you can actually set up an account for free and I'm going to be showing you how to build an AI agent for free using this as well if you keep watching. But yeah, long story short, it actually only costed them $5.6 million to build, which is 10 times less than OpenAI. So that's the absolute first reason it's completely free and that's why people love it. Number two, it is completely open source, which is how OpenAI started. They started releasing their code out there so you could actually see how it's been built. But obviously OpenAI have removed that. But DeepSeek, Anyone can see how it's been built, which is insane for like developers who want to replicate, build AI agents, things like that. Um, so that's the second thing. The third thing is going to be the reasoning, logic and problem solving capabilities. So it can basically handle like tasks like debugging code, creating workflows and just super sick things if you're interested in learning code and automations. But if you're anything like me, you're wondering, Charlie, how can you actually make money from this in a tactical way? Because I don't see too many other people talking about that. So that's what you're going to learn in this video, how to build your first AI agent using DeepSeek and there's no better time to learn this than now so lock in for the next five to ten minutes and you're going to learn so much because it is it's probably the most in-demand solution right now building AI agents um, so if you want to save time or to make tasks cut costs for yourself or other businesses this is going to be the video for you and obviously those that understand it will be the ones on top so without further ado let me show you how to build the actual AI agent so what you're going to do is firstly head over to a tool called N8N. If you've never heard of N8N, um, it is essentially just a platform that you can build automations on, just like Make.com or Zapier. It just has a lot more capabilities. So what you're going to do is sign up for a completely free account, which is why we are using it, because you can actually use the cloud version, which is completely free. So just click get started for free, you know, put in a few details and boom, you're good to go. In this case, we're going to sign in. So let's just click sign in. And once you sign in, you will be greeted at this page. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step and you're never going to find an easier video than this. So uh, you're going to click on create workflow, which is what I just did right there. And once you are inside, we are ready to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is have the trigger as the chat. So what this means is we can simply have a chat trigger that whenever we put something and we want to ask it a question or do a certain task for us, we can do that. So that's obviously what we want to start the workflow. So that's the trigger. Um, just click back to Canvas and you can see that it's set up just like that. And you've already done the first part and there's only a few more parts to go. It's actually really easy to do this. So once you've created the trigger, which is when chat message received, so when you type in a chat, you can then go to the next thing, which is clicking on this plus button right here. And you're going to search for AI agent. So we're going to be using yeah, DeepSeek as the AI agent. So I'll show you how to do that in literally two minutes. Um, so yeah, once you get to this page, you don't need to do anything with this. Just click the back to canvas, just like what you did for the first step. And yeah, obviously it will show this error, but we're going to remove that in a second. Now, what you see right here is the chat model. We have the memory, we have a tool. So this allows you to choose the model. And obviously you can integrate a memory into it if you want it to remember the uh, yeah, history of your chats and stuff like that. And then obviously other tools as well to it. But in this case, we are just wanting to connect DeepSeek to this AI agent so it can basically get yeah, use DeepSeek um, instead of like open AI. So what you're going to do is click on the language models and what you're going to search for is open AI. Now, before you click off the video, we are using DeepSeek's API, but it has to be done through this specific method. And I'll show you how this works in a second. So instead of using like the GPT-40 mini, which is open AI, we want to use DeepSeek. So how we're going to do that is by essentially clicking on create new credential. So once you click on create a new credential, we just need to go to this tool called open router. So if you essentially go on, go back to Google and you search for open router, you'll find it right here. 
and OpenBooter allows us just to find all the models and we can connect an API key through it. So for example, if you want to use DeepSeek, you can see that they have, yeah, DeepSeek R1 right here, which is amazing. You can use that straight away. Or if you want to use DeepSeek R1 um, to steal Llama 70B, it's just a different variation of it. You can also use that. You can see them right here. Um, so in this case, what we're going to do is just connect OpenRouter and the API key for DeepSeek to NA10. And then you're pretty much good to go. So if you hover over this button right here, once you create an account with OpenRouter, and it's as simple as yeah, just searching for OpenRouter.ai and you'll yeah, create an account. It's completely free. Then you just click on keys and you are literally almost done. So yeah, just keep watching for like two more minutes. So click on create a, a new key. So once you've got your key, you can then very easily go back into this part right here in NA10, just copy in the key. It's as simple as that. Now for this part right here, what you're gonna do is actually take this URL and you're gonna paste it in like this. And you're gonna replace settings with API and keys with V1. Now once you do that, you're gonna click save and it will, yeah, successfully test the connection. And as you can see, we've now connected DeepSeek and the API through OpenRouter to N8N, which means that we can now use DeepSeek's language model um, instead of ChatGPT. So how you would do this is by not using GPT 4.0, but going over to expression, removing this, and then very easily just going back over to OpenRouter and just searching for the model that you want to connect. So in this case, we want to connect this one, which is the DeepSeek R1 Distill Llama 70B. You don't need to understand what it means or anything like that. You just need to copy this URL. So very easily copy this URL. Yeah, you can click on that or just control C and then you just paste it in right here. And just like that, you're good to go. Once you click off this and you save it, once you've done that, you have successfully created a chat to AI agent using DeepSeek. So what this means is that if we click on chat right here, and we ask it a simple question. We ask it this question, what model are you? You can see that it is going to tell us that it is DeepSeek instead of OpenAI. So this is the very first step. And then in a second, I'm gonna show you how to integrate this into your Google Calendar, into your email, and just other things like that, which is also really easy to do. So as you can see, it has successfully given us an answer and it says that it is DeepSeek, an AI assistant independently developed by the Chinese company DeepSeek, um, and obviously for further details about models, please refer to the official documentation. So that is perfect. It now is DeepSeek that we're using as the AI agent. So what we can do is take this one step further. So if we click off this, what you can do is actually, if we um, yeah, zoom in a little, we can click on this button right here. So if we wanted to analyze our emails, so we can read our email inbox whenever we receive emails or read your Google Calendar or read a Google Sheet, a Google Document, Airtable, whatever it is that you want this AI agent to automate and do for you, you can do that right here by clicking on Add. And you can just search for anything. You can see that if you search for Google Calendar, you can get the option to do that right here, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Drive, you name it, it can do it. Even Google Ads, it could yeah, potentially review like ad campaigns. The possibilities for this are endless and I'm not even exaggerating. It is going to be crazy what's gonna happen in 2025. Um, so to keep this really simple, I would yeah, get started with either Gmail or Google Calendar, it's totally up to you. Let me just give you an example for how you would connect your Google Calendar to NA10 through a credential. So you can see here that you get different calendar actions. So for example, get an event would be probably the one that you would use. So if you click on this, you just need to connect your Google Calendar to NA10, which is as simple as you just signing in with Google. It's literally that simple. You just need to connect the platform like Google to NA10. So it knows how to like, it knows, so it can access the information. It's as simple as that. So once you um, sign in, you can see that it will look something like this and you'll be able to just, uh, yeah, you have your Google Calendar, the connection will be successful like what happened with the open router that I showed you before. And then the resource can be event. Obviously it can do other stuff. It's really up to you, you can play around with it. An operation you could like get. So if you want it to retrieve an event, you can do that. Um, so you, you just need to select the calendar you want it to retrieve from. So let's just take this one for example, um, event ID, you can have that in there. Or if we just have get many, um, it's gonna be able to get all the events on our calendar. Let's just limit it to five so it doesn't go crazy and take too long. Um, you can see here that, yeah, it's pretty much good to go. If we go back to Canvas, we have now successfully integrated Google Calendar. If we just ask, are my next meetings? It is going to go through Google Calendar and you can see here that we have got an error, which is the JSON chat input. So what we can do 
is you can see that it actually did collect the um, data around like when my next call is. So this coaching call, which is in a couple of hours, you can see here, it's got the time zone, it's got the date time. We just need to input this into the prompt user message so it knows what to do. So instead of having it as the um, connected chat trigger node, what you can do is just click on define below. And if you click on this, you can either have it as an expression where you can very easily just like copy this code and you can, yeah, copy selection and you can paste it in right here. And now it's got access to my Google Calendar, which is amazing. So if we go back off this and we click save, and then we basically, yeah, refresh this message, you can see that it will successfully be able to see my Google Calendar. And it's as simple as that, essentially. You just need to give it the information and then DeepSeek, as the AI agent, will be able to do whatever you want. So if you wanted to analyze your meetings and tell you how to best prepare for them, if you have more details around what your meetings are about, it can obviously do like a plan for you. And this is just scratching the surface of what it can do. So you can see right here that it is obviously just doing its magic. So we'll give it a second and see what it returns. So as you can see, we asked it, when are my next meetings? And you can see here that it's got the event ID, it's got the uh, title, so weekly coaching call, got the location, so it's got the Google Meet link, which I'm not going to show you, but you can see right here that it's literally given us our next meeting, which is perfect. And obviously, the more information you give it, the better answer or output it's going to give you back. But likewise, if you wanted to change this, you could very easily delete this and you could add your Gmail right here. So if you wanted to read your emails instead of Google Calendar, you can do that. I'm just explaining the foundations of how to integrate DeepSeek into NA10 so you can actually build workflows and make money from it. So for example, if you just have the um, message action as like, let's say, get many messages. Um, so you could have that as like the same thing. It's gonna retrieve your inbox or like your Google Calendar, for example, and it's gonna get those events. So for example, you could have it as get many, you could get it as get one if you wanted to do one. Um, and this is really just giving you the foundations of how this works. So you can obviously go beyond this and really take it to the next level, which is what I'm gonna be explaining in my next coming videos. So this is honestly just scratching the surface of what's to come. This is just getting your foot in the door with like some basic automations. So yeah, when I post my next videos, you're gonna be able to take it a step beyond and you'll also be able to understand yeah, the foundations like what I'm explaining, just how to integrate like DeepSeek and the API key through Open Router into NA10 and just like basic stuff like this. And obviously you can rewatch this video as many times as you want. Um, but obviously if you do create a credential right here, you'll be able to read your um, Gmail just like what you'll be able to do for my calendar. Just make sure that whenever you do that, you do put the prompt right here. So you obviously need to give it the information um, and stuff like that. And you can obviously yeah, have it as the connected chat trigger node if it allows it. But this is um, hopefully a good video for you to get started with and you can get stuck in. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, just subscribe because I've got so many more videos coming and planned soon on my channel. So definitely subscribe and I'll pop some videos up here that you can watch. And if you want my best prompts for um, DeepSeek, I'll also create a free resource. I don't want anything from you. I just want to provide value on this channel this year for you. So yeah, I'll give you my best prompts. That'll be the first link in the description probably. So take it easy, have an amazing day and get busy with learning AI.